We have since released a list of our ranking of the 10 best game winning tries in a State of Origin match. This time we are looking at the other two scoring plays in Rugby League, being the goal kick and the field goal. Either of which are huge plays in a Rugby League match, and for this list, they end up being the difference between winning and losing in a very important match that means so much to many Rugby League fans, especially from New South Wales or Queensland. So, this is Greatest Game of All, and this is our ranking of the 10 best game winning goal kicks slash field goals in a State of Origin match. Number 10, Darren Lockyer. In a remarkable opening game to the 1998 series, Queensland would produce one of their iconic late game comebacks. In a frantic final couple of minutes, Queensland would go 90 metres in one set to cross the line through Tony Carroll with seconds remaining. Down by one point, Darren Lockyer had a relatively easy kick to win the game for the Maroons after the siren. 90 seconds to go, Lockyer is just off centre, he should get it, he does get it, you little beauty! Number 9. Matt Rogers. It's not often a rugby league side wins a game without scoring a try, but that's what Queensland did in game one of the 1999 series. The first and only try in the match would come in the 30th minute when the Blues crossed through Anthony Mundine to give the Blues a 6-4 lead at half time. Queensland would hit the lead in the 60th minute after Matt Rogers kicked his fourth penalty goal. With seven minutes remaining, the Blues would concede a penalty to put Queensland in a great position to set up for a field goal. After scoring every single one of Queensland's points, Matty Rogers would once again step up and take the shot to win the game for the Maroons. I think it's a fullback, Ray. Back they go for Matt Rogers. Oh. Matt Rogers, the hand goes up, the hand is up. It's one point. Queensland are in front. Perfect balance from Rogers. Nothing wrong with that right leg as he provides the balance for the left drag through straight between the posts. Number eight, Alan Langer. Game 2 of the 1992 series saw a low scoring affair with Queensland's Little Master stepping up to keep the series alive. The match witnessed a crazy opening 5 minutes with a fight between Marty Bella and Bradley Clyde. A few minutes later Queensland were down to 11 players and both Marty Bella and Peter Jackson would get Simbin for repeatedly back chatting to the referee. It would be a tough contest throughout the second half with both sides trying to break the full all half time deadlock. With 1 minute to go Queensland would get one more chance to try and keep the series alive and they took it with both hands as Alan Langer would kick them to victory. Shearer's gone in to first receiver, but Langer's with the football. Goes for he's it. got it. I think he's got it. Langer. Langer has broken the deadlock. We see Langer. Look at that. Nobody coming through. That's it. That's curtains. 42 seconds. We've got to decide if Queensland have won the second state of origin again at Lang Park. Number seven, Mel Meninga. 1991. What a series, with all three games being decided by two points. Game three was no different with the decider held in Queensland at Lang Park in what would be Wally Lewis's final game in a Maroon jersey. The Maroons would take an 8-4 half-time lead, but the match would be turned on its head with the Blues scoring two tries in back-to-back -back sets to jump to a 12-8 lead. Queensland would come up with a great team try, finished off by speeds to Dale Shearer to give the big toe-poking centre Mal Meninga a chance to give the Maroons the lead and to send the King out a winner. He's around about four metres in, five metres in for touch, just out on the junction line. 12 or 23 metres out. There it goes. It looks OK from where I'm sitting. Oh, yes, he's got it. The big fella's done it. Well, Queensland, after trailing for so long, have hit the front 40, 12. Number six, John Simon. Game 2 of the 1997 series saw New South Wales looking to win the series after winning Game 1 in Queensland. In a high scoring first half, the Blues would jump out to a 14-0 lead after 27 minutes, but Queensland would hit back to level the scores at 14 all. With 11 minutes to go, New South Wales got into Queensland territory and halfback John Simon stepped up to kick an amazing field goal to give the Blues the lead, the win, and the series. Last tackle again, 25 out, and Simon goes for the drop goal! It's wide, isn't it? He's got the hand up, he's given it. He's got it. David Manson said fair goal. 15 to 14, New South Wales in front. Number five, Brett Finch. What a start to the 2006 series this was. New South Wales dominated the first half, jumping out to a 14-0 halftime lead. But once again, Queensland came back scoring twice in five minutes to level the scores, which meant Jonathan Thurston had a kick from the sideline to tie the game. With Queensland well on their way to completing one of their trademark comebacks, it was Brett Finch who spoiled the party and snatched victory for the Blues with 90 seconds remaining. 32 metres out from the line, last tackle. Finch. Finch takes the shot. It's got the He's line. Got it. yes. It's got the leg. I think yes. it's there. Yes, it's there. Brett Finch, the hero. He has kicked the field goal. 17-16 in favour of the Blues. 
Number four, Jonathan Thurston. After winning game one in 2017, New South Wales ran out to a commanding 16-6 lead after 27 minutes. However, as they've done so often in the past, the Maroons came back to tie the game thanks to a Michael Morgan flick pass to Dane Gagai to score with four minutes remaining. Then, the stage was set for Jonathan Thurston in what we now know as his final Origin match after injuring his shoulder earlier in the match to kick the Maroons to a Game 2 victory and eventual series win. It's coming back! 18-16! Number 3, Sean Timmons. The opener for the 2004 series saw New South Wales start the defence of the Shield in a great low scoring match. Queensland would take a four point lead at the break, but the Blues started fast in the second half as they took an 8 4 lead. Queensland would hit back 10 minutes later to tie the game, and the scores would remain the same at the end of 80 minutes, sending the game into Golden Point extra time for the first time ever in Origin. It only took two minutes for New South Wales half Sean Timmons to slot through the field goal to give his Blues the game one win. Points all. We are in Golden Point extra time. A shot from Timmons has got the height, it's got yeah. the length, and the crowd goes up. Redstead awards the point. The Blues have won it. The Blues have won Origin 1. Number 2, Cooper Cronk. Only a few years before his heroics in Game 1 of the 2015 series, Cooper Cronk came off a massive play in the series decided in Game 3 in 2012. Looking for their seventh straight series win, Queensland would take a first half lead of 16-8, which included a controversial try to Justin Hodges, who ran behind one of his own players to score. With 10 minutes to go, a Josh Morris try and a Todd Carney sideline conversion would level the scores at 20 all. As he's done so often, Cooper Cronk stepped up to nail a 40 metre field goal with 5 minutes remaining and give the Maroons their 7 straight series win. So they're on the last tackle and Cooper's gone for a long range shot. Oh, it's got plenty of distance. And number one. Michael O'Connor. Again, Michael O'Connor's right boot was the deciding factor in not one but two State of Origin matches. The first being Game 3 of the 1986 series to give the Blues a clean sweep series win, but he is well known for his heroics in Game 2 of the 1991 series. With only minutes on the clock and pouring down rain, Mark McGill would slide across the line which would set up the opportunity for Michael O'Connor to win the game and keep the series alive for the Blues. Considering the high stakes, terrible conditions and difficulty of the kick, it is, in our opinion, the best game winning goal kick slash field goal in a State of Origin match. So, what did you think of our list? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below, chug us a like on Facebook and this video, follow us on Instagram and subscribe to our channel for more Rugby League Countdowns.